Kamusta? Did you know that the Philippines had indigenous people called the Taboli? It's written T apostrophe B O L I, and that they also had their own type of chanting, and that's exactly what we will be discovering today in this video. The title of this video is Taboli Vocal Chants of Native Filipinos. But I thought that we should first know a little bit more about the Taboli before reacting to this video. So let's read the description of the Taboli people on Wikipedia. The Taboli people are one of the indigenous peoples of South Cotabato in southern Mindanao. In the body of ethnographic and linguistic literature on Mindanao, their name is variously spelled Tboli, 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 Tagabili, Tagabilil, Tagabulul, and Taobilil. Those are so many various names. I think my favorite is Tagabulul. <laughs> their endonym is Tboli. Their whereabouts and identity are somewhat imprecise in the literature. Some publications present the Taboli and the Tagabili as distinct peoples. Some located the Taboli in the vicinity of Lake Bulwan in the Cotabato Basin or in Agusan del Norte. The Tbolis then reside on the mountain slopes on either side of the upper Allah Valley. Allah Valley as in Allah like uh, the name of the of God, you know, in uh, in the Islamic uh, religion, you know. That's how we call him, Allah. And the coastal area of Maitum, Maasim and Kiamba. Although Allah Valley is not written the exact same way, here it's A L A H, and Allah, as in the God, as in God, is A L L A A H, right? In former times, the Tabolis also inhabited the upper floor of the Allah Valley. After World War II and the arrival of settlers from other parts of the Philippines, they have been gradually pushed to the mountain slopes. As of now, they have almost been expelled from the fertile valley floor, which is a shame, my god. Like their immediate neighboring tribes, the Ubus, Bablaan, Blit, Tau Sigel, and the Tasadai, they have been variously termed hill tribes, Pagans, ani Animists, etc. As opposed to indigenous Muslim peoples or Christian settlers. In political context, however, the word Lumad from the Cebuano for native people has become a popular umbrella term for the various indigenous peoples of Mindanao. Uh, the Philippines must have thousands of, uh, if, of indigenous people variants, you know. So, now that we know a little bit more about the Tboli, let's uh, hear how they sing. But before we start, as usual, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Music Game News because that is where you can DM me your suggestions. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. She's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> What a beautiful and charming woman. I love her outfit and her earrings. Now, the type of singing, I am very surprised. Do you know why? It's because this is so freaking close to what I hear in Algeria, you know, like our tribes in Algeria, but not just in Algeria, but also in like Somalia and Ethiopia, it gets really close to the, that type of singing where 
the the, the way they sing is not uh, like regular singing that you hear every day. You know, it's not classical singing. It's like, it's a technique. It's a different technique that like comes from the throat. I don't know how they sing, but it's it's very odd. Like you can tell by the sound of it, right? Like it's like they're, they're pushing it from here. Wow. Did you see how she plays with her eyebrows and the way she looks at the person up and down, up and down like this as she's singing? I wonder what the meaning of the song is. Is she like, is the song a way to, to flirt? I don't know, but she looks like she's flirting with the, the person that she is singing to. Wow, this technique is so interesting how there are like uh, drops, you know, like stops. It's so interesting. So beautiful. Oh. If you were expecting uh, a reaction from me that would be more like, oh my God, I've never heard this before. This is so odd. This is so strange. That's not what you're going to get from me because this is very close to what uh, I hear in Algeria, you know, and in Africa in general. So I am used to this kind of, uh, of singing actually. And it sounds familiar to me. And I actually enjoy it as every time I hear singing like this, I feel like I am transported back in Algeria, you know? And, and I feel some type of like uh, warmth. I love it. <laughs> On top of all the cuts, you know, I also noticed something else is that she always ends with humming. Mm -hmm. She closes her mouth and she hums, you know, the last note. Oh, this is so lovely. Look how she's looking. Is there a specific name for this type of singing? Does it get closer to religious singing? Maybe to a genre of Filipino blues, maybe? You know, when did this, this type of singing, when was it born? Why was it born, you know? Uh, I don't know, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Man, I could have listened to this for a very long time. As a matter of fact, I find it very relaxing. It feels like it could be musing to 
put people to sleep in a way you know it, it has this relaxing ability to it because she hits like very interesting frequencies and the fact that uh, her notes are so stable like that and just she hums them most of the time wow it puts you in some type of a trance you know what I'm saying mm, it makes me actually want to listen to to music from Algeria you know from our old tribes as well from the mountains you know wow that was so great and this makes me feel even closer to Filipinos you know another thing that we have in common you know the the the, the language is different but the melodies and the technique is very similar wow i mean algeria and the philippines are so far from each other and yet they have this in common it's crazy this was awesome and i, I loved she's a beautiful woman uh, i love the way she's dressed i loved her energy too so there you go guys let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this maraming maraming salamat po and of course if you have gotten value out of this video then please do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here